Welcome back. Today we are going to see how to create a new document type and assigning number ranges and other parameters. Let's get started. Uh, as, uh, open transaction SPRO, go to IMG button and then open the node uh, supplier relationship management. Then uh, go to cross applications basic settings. Then uh, come down to define transaction types. So for in this example, I'm going to choose uh, RFX. So select uh, RFX uh, business object, double two double zero. And then in the left uh, panel, uh, yeah. So I, before, before creating a document type, we have to create a number range. So to go to number range uh, node and then uh, uh, select uh, SRM number range. So choose local RFX uh, number ranges. So I have defined two number ranges, uh, one and two, one with eight one series and uh, two with eight two series. So you can also see what is the current number ranges uh, by clicking on NR status. If you want to change, you can click on intervals change buttons. So I have defined the uh, two number ranges, one and two. Now uh, we'll go back to defining the document type. So click on the node define uh, transaction types. Uh, yeah, you, we, we have to define the text schema as well. So for that, go to text schema and uh, choose uh, the RFQ uh, text schema. Double click on uh, text for uh, schemas. So in the previous videos, I have already shown how to create uh, text types, custom text types. So all those text types will be uh, coming under uh, this RFX text schemas. So you can also define new text type and then uh, you know, assign the text type under text schemas. So our root uh, text object will be dbp underscore pd. Double click on the text type. So this is all the list of text types. So click on new entry. Here you can uh, create a new uh, text types. Uh, you can save it so that uh, that will get uh, created and you can assign that under a text schema. So if you select RFQ, and then double click on text for text schema so that will get assigned here by adding the newly uh, created text type and you can also define whether this text uh, should be as uh, uh, should be uh, visible in header or item so if you scroll right yeah you will have an option header item or both should be visible at header item and visibility whether it should for uh, purchaser or for the external users or for both and uh, the defining the editable option uh, that we can give option to internal external user internal is for purchaser external is for uh, by uh, sorry suppliers and uh, we can have the, uh, the copy option yes yes or no whether this text can be copied uh, or not so if you choose yes you can copy and then you save this uh, uh, option and come out so before defining a transaction type, uh, this text schema and then uh, you know, defining the number ranges is mandatory. And uh, event event schema is also to, to be defined while creating a transaction type. So we are going to use a standard event. So uh, this example, I've already created a multiple uh, you know, uh, custom transaction type. So for uh, testing, I'm going to create uh, one dummy transaction. Um, so we have to choose a, a transaction sorry business object that I am going to choose RFX so you can define the description for it and assign a number range for both internal and external so in this case I am going to use uh, internal number range external as 01 and yeah so this is the text schema which we uh, defined in earlier case so I am going to use standard text schema and event is also uh, I am going to use a uh, RFQ which is a standard one and the type of pricing either simple or with condition simple means so you will have only basic price if you choose price with conditions uh, we will be having uh, prices and multiple conditions uh, like uh, um, you know insurance freight etc those can be uh, if, if you choose no price then there will not be any price it will be like a, a request for um, um, only uh, getting the technical details so there won't be any price so if you choose no price and there are multi other uh, options like uh, you can define whether you can 
add the items <coughs> and the type of rfx is like public or restricted public is open to all the bidders restricted is available only to uh, the selected uh, no bidders while creating the rfx so it will be like a, a restricted rfx limited rfx public is open rfx and then you can save it so this is um, uh, all the steps for uh, defining the new transaction types so in uh, the later videos i will show you uh, how to uh, define uh, events the next is like for if you are going with the service procurement uh, so you have to assign this uh, document type under this uh, defining uh, service uh, procurement uh, node so when you go for this uh, transfer of uh, services from ecc pr and then you are going to go with uh, you know service procurement and then under service procurement node you have to activate service procurement and then uh, select the document types and thank you for watching this video if you like my video please share and subscribe to my channel thank you